Our next lesson is the general power formula. So objective, the end, at the end of this lesson, the student should be able to solve the given integrands by applying the basic integration formulas, specifically the general power formula. So I'm doing general power formula. So this is just the extension of the power formula that we have discussed sa nung nakaraan. So a formula that is that integral of u to the n du is equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c such that n must not be equal to negative 1. So ano ba yung u? So u is any function. So it can be an algebraic, it can be a transcendental function provided your n must be a constant. Your n should be any constant except negative 1. So let's have examples. So we have integral from 0 to 1 of uh, 2 minus 3x to the third power dx. So let u be equal to 2 minus 3x. Because as you can see, this is a function, an algebraic function, 2 minus 3x as your u and a constant exponent as my n. So let u be equal to 2 minus 3x. The derivative is negative 3. So du is equal to negative 3x. So by uh, cross-multiplying, so the derivative of u with respect to x is negative 3. And then uh, cross-multiplying du is negative 3 dx. But sa given natin, ang kailangan meron tayo dito na dx. So all we need to do is to divide both sides by negative 3, giving you du over 3 negative. So, ano mangyayari? So, this gives you integral of u to the third. u is 2 minus 3x to the third multiplied by dx, which is equal to negative du over 3. So, that's negative 1 third because you need to put that negative 1 third outside because it's a constant. Integral of u to the 3, du. So, using general power formula, that's negative 1 third u to the 4 over 4 plus c because you need to add 1 kay 3 over 3 plus 1. So, that gives you negative 1 over 12, 2 minus 3x because u is 2 minus 3x to the 4 from 0 to 1. So, applying the limits, substituting upper minus lower. So, negative 1 over 12, quantity 2 minus 3 times upper limit 1 to the 4 minus lower limit 2 minus 3 times 0 to the 4. So, gives negative 1 over 2, 2 minus 3 to the 4. So, 2 minus 3 is negative 1 to the 4 is positive 1. 2 minus 0 is 2 to the 4th is 16. Preceded by a negative, that's 1 over 1 minus 16. And 1 minus 16 is negative 15 divided by negative 12 when simplified is simply 5 fourths. So there's an alternate solution na hindi natin na ibabalik dun sa original uh, function. So, pwede na nating hindi ibalik dun sa 2 minus 3x. So, ang gagawin natin is we just have to change the limits. Kasi di ba kanina from uh, from this u to the 4 over 4 binalik pa natin siya into its original variable. So, dito sa ating alternate solution, magkakaroon tayo ng changing of limits accordingly dun sa ginamit nating substitution. So, again, so meron tayo kanina na ginamit na substitution u is equal to 2 minus 3x. That's why it becomes u to the third multiplied by negative du over 3. So, that's uh, from our substitution. So, ngayon, this limit must be changed accordingly kasi gumamit tayo ng panibagong variable u. So, 2 minus 3x. So, si 0 to 1 na limit ay exclusive for x variables lamang. 
So since we have introduced another variable u, hindi na natin pwedeng gamitin ang 0 to 1 na limit. So ibig sabihin, magpapalit din tayo ng limit kasi gumamit tayo ng substitution. So from our substitution, u is equal to 2 minus 3x. Ang upper limit natin ay x is equal to 1. Substituting dun sa ating 3 na yon gives u is equal to negative 1. 2 minus 3 times 1. So that is 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So our new lower lim upper limit is negative 1. Lower limit, x is equal to 0. u is equal to 2. So 2 minus 3 times 0. So u is equal to 2. Therefore, it becomes negative 1 third integral from 2 to negative 1 u cubed du. So that is negative 1 third u to the 4 over 4 from 2 to negative 1. That's negative 1 over 12, upper limit, negative 1 to the 4th, minus 2, lower limit to the 4th. So that's negative 1 over 12, 1 minus 16 is still 5 over 4. So let's have example letter B. So integral of x cubed plus 3x minus 1 to the 8th, multiplied by x squared plus 1 dx. So let this function, algebraic function be our u that is being raised to a constant exponent n. So let u be equal to x cubed plus 3x minus 7. Differentiating gives 3x squared plus 3 dx. So du is 3 times the quantity x squared plus 1 dx because 3 is common. Then du over 3 by dividing both sides by 3 gives x squared plus 1 dx. This multiplier is exactly the same as that of your du over 3. So that's why its integral of this function being raised to 8 becomes u to the 8 multiplied by x squared plus 1 dx, which is du over 3. So, ialabas lang natin yung constant. So it becomes 1 third integral of u to the 8 du. So using formula, 1 third u to the 8 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 plus c. But then again, this 1 third and 8 plus 1 is 9. 1 third plus times 1 over 9 is 1 over 27. And then u to the 8 plus 1 is 9. But what is this u? So u is x cubed plus 3x minus 7 to the 9 plus c. So do not forget to add a plus c. Let's have another example. We have the integral of dx over the square root of 1 minus x squared arc sine of x raised to the fifth power. So notice that there's a transcendental function here that is being raised to 5 na nakalagay sa square root. So uh, ibig sabihin, pwede natin siyang gawing raised to, or pwede natin siyang paghiwalayin sa iisang square root kasi meron tayong factors na square root of 1 minus x squared quantity arc sine of x to the 5. So, pwede itong maging a, eto ang mag represent ng b. So, square root of a, b is equal to square root of a times square root of b. Kaya naging ganito. And then this arc sine of x to the 5 na may square root ay pwede nating i-rewrite as arc sine of x raised to 5 halves. Using algebra principle that a fractional exponent is always associated with uh, radicals. So if I'm going to let this arc sign be my u and take its derivative gives you dx over square root of 1 minus x squared. So this term or factor is definitely my du over the square root of u to the 5. And square root of u to the 5 
is u to the negative 5 halves since nasa ilalim siya. So, gagamitan natin siya ng principle that a raised to negative m is equal to 1 over a raised to an m exponent. So, that's why this uh, square root of u to the 5 becomes u to the negative 5 halves du. So, gagamitin ulit natin ng general power formula. So, that's u to the negative 5 over 2 plus 1 over negative 5 over 2 plus 1 plus c. Negative 5 halves plus 1 is negative 3 halves. Negative 5 halves plus 1 is negative 3 halves. Then, multiplying this by the reciprocal of the denominator, 1 times the reciprocal of the denominator, negative 2 over 3, that's times. Gives negative 2 thirds, 1 over u to the 3 halves, since this negative exponent, pag ibinaba, becomes positive, plus c. So that gives you negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 all over 3 square root of arc sine x raised to 3 halves. Remember that a raised to m over n is equal to n root of a to the m. So we just have... Uh, Followed this laws on logarithms. I let laws on exponents. So we have here integral of sine phi cosine phi d phi over 4 minus sine squared phi to the 5. So notice that again on this denominator, 4 minus sine squared phi is being raised to this constant exponent. So let that function be your u. Let u be equal to 4 minus sine squared phi. Using power formula to find its derivative, derivative of 4 is 0, derivative of negative sine squared phi, that's negative 2, sine phi, subtract 1 from 2, it becomes 1, and the derivative of sine is cosine phi d phi. Dividing both by negative 2 gives negative du over 2 is equal to sine phi, cosine phi, d phi. So since your numerator sine phi, cosine phi, d phi is negative du over 2, here's the equivalent value for sine phi, cosine phi, d phi over u to the 5, over u to the 5. So constant c negative one half. So you must be. Uh, we must put that outside the integral sign, and then u to the five. Then as a denominator, pag inangat becomes negative. So that's u to the negative five du. So applying the formula, that's negative one half u to the negative five plus one over negative five plus one plus c. That's negative one half times u to the negative four over negative four plus c, and that's positive 1 over 8, u to the negative 4, pag nilagay sa ilalim, becomes positive. So that's 1 over 8 times 1 over u to the 4 plus c. Or, ibabalik natin siya sa original form niyan, that u is equal to 4 minus sine squared of phi to the 4th power. 